So when you buy a new entry-level camera, you are faced with two kit lens choices, basically the 18 to 135 and the 18 to 55. So how much difference are they? Now, obviously one is bigger, one is smaller. The 18 to 55 is lighter and it's more compact. However, the 18 to 55 costs just about 199 bucks for the micro motor version and 249 bucks for the STM version. Whereas the 18 to 135 costs $500 for the micro motor version and $549 for the STM version. So that's a fairly huge $300 gap between these two lenses. So what do you actually get for the extra 300 bucks? So these two lenses, the 18 to 135 and 1855, are actually very similar in terms of image quality. Both are not amazing, both are not very sharp. Now I find the 18 to 55 um, a little softer around the edges at 18 mm, but however the 18 to 135 especially at 18 mm, has a lot more chromatic aberration around the edges. Now, the significant difference that actually sets these two lenses apart um, that apparently justifies the $300 difference is the focal length and the build quality. Now, the 18 to 135 goes far beyond 55 mm to 135 mm. Actually, that's just a little bit more from about a standard to a medium telephoto. So that's a bit of extra reach, but then that's pretty much it. Now in terms of build quality, the 18 to 135 will feel more solid than the 18 to 55. The 18 to 135 has internal focusing and a metal mount. However, the STM version of the 18 to 55 also has internal focusing. But then the 1855 is a uh, plastic mount, so the metal mount will be much more durable. And the 18 to 135 just feels more solid as of overall um, as a lens. Now the 18 to 55 feels kind of wobbly when you uh, rattle it. Now the 18 to 135 is just sort of less rattly, but then the build quality is still not top notch. Now neither of these lenses have weather sealing, so they are both just so so. So we can say that they are really just mediocre. So which one should you actually get? Now, I wouldn't actually recommend either of these lenses. Now, I recommend investing in better lenses because these two lenses simply aren't that good. Now, you're paying quite a lot of money, especially if you're going for the 18 to 135 for a lens that is just mediocre. But if I absolutely had to pick one of these two, I'd go for the 18 to 55. Because to me, the slightly extended range and the slightly improved but still not good enough build quality doesn't at all justify the $300 price leap. Because basically to me, the 18 to 135 is simply not worth it. So basically, there we have it, these two kit lenses. Now seriously, if you're planning to take on um, some serious photography, you need a lens for, uh, for example, paid work, you need a workhorse lens, don't go for the 18 to 55 or the 18 to 135. Look into better standard zoom lenses that uh, are more reliable and are actually better performers. So that is pretty much it. I can tell you about these two lenses compared. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, any comments, just leave it in the comment section below and I will see you in the next video.